Good Friday, Bahamas. Welcome to sports. I'm Jared Higgs. The Easter season is the Carifta season and the swimming championships are wrapping up this evening. Day three was brilliant for the Bahamas. Our Chris Saunders tells us that the team amass quite a treasure chest of gold. Despite a slew of gold and silver medal performances, Team Bahamas could not hold back a late charge from Guadeloupe on day three of competition. Guadeloupe still leads the competition with 601 points. Team Bahamas back 21 points at 580. Martinique is third with 425 and a half points. Barbados fourth at 379 and a half points. And Trinidad and Tobago rounds out the top five with 300 and 28 points. Aubrey may shut it down. Though. Five gold medal performances for Team Bahamas. Aubrey Higgs, a workhorse for the Bahamas. She took gold in the 200 individual medley and the 200 fly in the 15 to 17 girls division. She also snagged a silver in the 50 breast. The gold in that event, by the way, went to her sister, Lily Higgs. Um, yeah, I definitely had to get out strong, um, get my tempo up, and just hold it for the 50. Take your arms. Isaac Bastian took early and complete control of the 13 to 14 boys 50 breasts. He came away with the gold in 30.41 seconds while erasing the record set five years ago by Bahamian Dustin Tynes. The last like 15 meters where everybody else starts to slow down their pace, just, just keep steady or even try and pick it up even more. Lamar Taylor posted a negative split in the 11-12 boys 100 free came home for the gold medal as well. His time, 59.65 seconds, the only competitor to go under a minute. Isaac Bastian also picked up a silver in the 13 to 14 boys, 200 IM. Lily Higgs took silver in the 200 IM in the 15 to 17 girls as well. Darren Lang has been battling a slight cough, but he wasn't gonna let that stop him or get the best of him. He still posted a silver medal performance in the grueling 13 to 14 boys, 200 butterfly. Jared Fitzgerald with the push here. Jared Fitzgerald with a strong finish, won silver in the 15 to 17 boys, 100 free. His time, a respectable 52.29 seconds. Uh, I felt good. It was a PB by about half a second. So I was very happy with it. Um, good start, worked the turns, and a good finish. Heading into the final day of competition, Team Bahamas down 21 points. It sounds like a lot, but in swimming, that can easily be a race. As a point of note, for the Bahamas, heading into the two-fly, the final event, individual event of the day, they were up by almost 30 points. So the two-fly and the 800 free relays definitely killed the Bahamas. Heading into the final day, though, they've got some of their powerhouse events again. The 50 free and the 100 breasts, two events the Bahamas typically does well in. And if they can pull off strong performances there, they could very well go after that third straight, unprecedented Carifta Swimming Championship in Martinique. I'm Chris Saunders, ZNS Total Sports. And keeping with Carifta, the track and field team arrived in Grenada yesterday for this weekend's games. Our Kelsey Johnson is tagging along with them. Last minute adjustments on the runway. Precision passes. Markings getting put in place for high jump and pole vault. That's how members of Team Bahamas spend their two hours at the Grenada Athletic Stadium. The last minute workout session this morning got things started for the 56 member squad. The competition will officially be on the way at 9 a.m. tomorrow though. Up first will be the high jumpers. To the surprise of many, the country will be represented by a pair of pole vaulters who are more than ready to soar. My expectation is to come out here and do my best and well, get over my better PR, make a better PR and serve my island proud. I've reached a PR that I didn't think I was going to reach and I could do a lot better considering that the training I was provided with. The long and triple jumpers are not to be left out. They got sandy this morning doing a number of run through drills and hops. Uh, everyone is adjusting real well. The team Bahamas, all the athletes, everyone looks so great so far. Coach Kenny Marks here and uh, Antonio San is doing good, great job with the jumpers so far from what I've seen. Everyone look good. The sprinters look good. We should do well. Over in the thrower's circle were the athletes who will be competing in the discus and shot put events. Unfortunately, the Bahamas will not be represented in the javelin events in all divisions. The Bahamas finished second at last year's championships behind powerhouse Jamaica. The team is more focused this year and the goal is gold, improving on the medal hall that was picked up in St. Kitts and Nevis last year. This year, it's Grenada and even though the stadium is in a hilly area, the athletes are ready to go. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. 
and Bahamian Buddy Heel and the Oklahoma Sooners are through to the Elite Eight of the NCAA tournament after beating the Texas A&M Aggies 77-63. to The Aggies tried their hardest to stifle Heel, but that only opened up the floor more for his teammates who didn't let him down. The man from 8 Mile Rock, or better yet, Elite 8 Mile Rock, ended the night with 17 points and 10 rebounds. They'll play the number one seeded Oregon Ducks tomorrow evening, tipping off at 6 p.m. And staying with Buddy, looks like he's got a new Buddy. After last night's win, Heel and Lakers legend Kobe Bryant exchanged pleasantries and took a photo together. This one provoked a lot of feelings here at home, with the Lakers being one of the most loved and hated teams. And of course, Buddy being projected as an early round draft pick. The Derwood Knowles National Junior Sloop Sailing Championships are getting underway tomorrow at Elizabeth Harbor in Georgetown, Exuma. The entire event is being funded by the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources at a cost of $75,000. The C.V. Bethel Sailing Club will be represented at the regatta. Mrs. Desiree Carey is the facilitator for that organization. Our club is going to be represented by six experienced and exposed sailors that were trained by Mr. Gibson, by Mr. Sheldon Gibson, as well as Mr. Stephen Joba Roll, who has given a lot of his time on Sunday afternoons to participate and train our students. And over in San Salvador, we told you about the primary school track meet held earlier this week. Big shout out to all the parents, teachers, and other volunteers who supported the kids. It was like the San Salvador Olympics out there, and they even had a teacher's race. Not sure who won that one. S. Brown is the PE teacher at both the high school and the primary school. He says he plans on taking some of the stronger athletes to nationals. Right now I'm just putting in a few months with them, but I have the intent of taking them to the nationals. And I could guarantee you, you, you know, they'll see some great performance. And in the near future, you know, they'll be uh, world class, I mean, world class athletes, no ifs and buts about that. And that's all the time we have for sports on this Good Friday. I'm Jared Higgs. This is ZNS Total Sports.